What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. This will be the spoiler free review for Terrifier 3, which is written and directed by Damien Leone. It is starring David Howard Thornton, Daniel Roebuck, Lauren Levera, Elliot Fulham, Samantha Scafidi, Chris Jericho, and several others. Now, this is set five years after the events of Terrifier 2. After surviving Art the Clown's Halloween Massacre, Sienna and her brother Jonathan are struggling to rebuild their shattered lives as the holiday season approaches they try to embrace the christmas spirit and leave the horrors of the past behind but just when they think they're safe art returns determined to turn their holiday cheer into a new nightmare the festive season quickly unravels as art unleashes his twisted brand of terror proving that no holiday is safe so i'm happy to say that terrifier 3 keeps art the clown's path to becoming a slasher icon strong i would say it's just terrifier 2 but slightly better in terms of quality. The bit, the best thing that's better here is the production value, which keeps improving each film. Uh, Damien Leone's, Leone's latest efforts do result in a blood-drenched holiday delight that hopes to cross every boundary imaginable. The practical effects remain strong. In this film, they're actually quite phenomenal compared to the last two. Lauren Levera delivers another captivating performance as Sienna Shaw. David Howard Thornton continues to thrive as the unhinged clown who is determined to steal the holiday cheer in Miles County. So Sienna is living with her uncle Greg now, her aunt Jessica, and her cousin Gabriella, who is her number one fan. She's having nightmares of the clown cafe still. She's been in and out of psychiatric hospitals or psychiatric hospital and remains traumatized by what happened five Five years ago much of which seems to be just her blaming herself for the death of her loved ones jonathan is away at college has garnered a bit of a true crime following online but doesn't seem to have let it go to his head unlike sienna who is convinced that art isn't dead leone spends an ample amount of time exploring the dynamics between sienna and her new family members digging deeper into why the angel warrior's costume is so important and setting the stage for her next confrontation with art but Jonathan takes an unfortunate backseat, a decision that I hope isn't the case in this extended cut that Leone has acknowledged because it's made several crucial scenes with Jonathan anticlimactic. Thankfully, my worst fears for T3 were avoided, Jonathan aside. Yes, there was a thin character or two, but I was completely invested in the new relatives. Art's path back to the siblings is nothing short of a bloodbath, which kept me in anticipation of the inevitable showdown the story is building towards. He's becoming an even bigger topic of discussion in town, making his mystique stronger in the process and effectively preserving his role as a convincing antagonist for me to be scared of. Art still delivers those pockets of uneasy humor with a scene of him meeting Santa stealing the show this time around. That aside, Terrifier 3 also puts a spotlight on how insensitive and exploitive people the media can be about real world tragedies. In this case, we're dealing with the Miles County murders and that aspect of the screenplay is mostly explored through this character named Mia, who is the girlfriend to Jonathan's roommate, who seems to view the siblings as the way to get views on her podcast more than anything else. While this commentary isn't fleshed out as much as it could have been, it does keep me invested in seeing this journey because I'm bothered by how inconsiderate people seem to be towards a character that I want to see overcome their struggles. There's some great setup and payoffs featured in the story as well, specifically regarding Sienna's number one fan, her little cousin Gabby, who has a bit of a snooping problem, a problem that becomes useful later on, even if I don't fully buy the angle that's being sold. This isn't the biggest sin, but several lines of dialogue do feel unbelievable to me, and most were featured in the meeting Santa at the bar sequence. It could have been that the delivery from some of the stars just wasn't working for me at times the performances all in all i would say across the board are good but there were some aspects of the delivery where i was like "Ugh, why did you keep this take whatever <laughs> all in all i'd say t3 has a competent screenplay that balances humor character development gnarly kills and an effective dual story that prevents the film from just being one kill sequence after the next the only back, the only downside I can see people having with the screenplay, if you're someone who's already a fan of the Terrifier films, is that the fact that it is very similar to what we've seen in countless other horror movies. Characters dealing with trauma, being highly medicated, and yeah, <laughs> not the most original, but still execution is everything, and the execution of the story worked for me in the long haul. So... Going into some other aspects of this film, Damien Leone does a wonderful job directing Terrifier 3. Even the pacing is better. He keeps the tension high throughout by this dual story being told and the cross cuts as we watch Art's path lead him closer to Jonathan and Sienna. Lauren Levera delivers another triumphant performance as Sienna Shaw, Art's greatest foe to date, 
perfectly displaying Sienna's frustrations, guilt, sadness, and the determination within her to rid herself of Art the Clown for good. Her convincing performance kept me feeling sorry for Sienna and rooting for her when Sienna wanted to be a badass. To no one's surprise, it is David Howard Thornton who shines the most here. Thornton's talent just can't go unnoticed when he's effectively bringing to life an unhinged maniac who doesn't even say a word. His facial expressions his facial expressions going from smiles to deadpanning never fails to get under my skin and make me uneasy. I was left wanting more from the final act, just to talk about the pacing really quick. It's an improvement over T2 where I don't think the kill sequences are going on for too long or anything like that but they do get time to breathe get under your skin effectively continue to establish art as a menacing presence but that third act and the battle that occurs felt like it was here and then gone it just could have had more time to breathe like we saw in t2 even though I'm, some people will complain that t2 or the critique for t2's finale would be that that's too long in this case i think we have a unfortunate it's too short <laughs> it it needed more more screen time uh, it's a mostly fast paced film, but I was just left wanting more during that final act, which just seemed to be too short. Now, the camera work featured in the film kept me engaged. It is keeping the tension high, but some of the static close up shots that were happening constantly, for some reason this time around, they bothered me. Uh, I didn't revisit the first two films, and perhaps when I rewatch the first two films, they'll bother me during that, too, because I think they're featured in those first two films. But something about it in this one felt a bit excessive. The cinematography altogether isn't poor, but some of those close up shots were getting a bit annoying. That's all I will say. Now, the score I thought was very good. It definitely kept the tension high as well. Aided in me feeling uneasy, uneasy keeping me in anticipation of what's going to happen next. Sometimes you could argue that the score is just very loud and obnoxious, but all in all this is a quality film for horror fans who are looking to see what art has to do next in terrifier 3 i'm not upset with the film by any means it could have been better yes just like any other piece of film that, or any other film that comes out i would give it a 7.5 out of 10 let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below are you looking forward to seeing t2 or t3 why or why not and shout out to cineverse for sending this my way because i am not going to be able to make it to the theaters this week because of the hurricane coming to my city but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications and there is a video in the description i'll have links to my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video